Hello, welcome to Callaway Tour Tips with myself, Thomas Peters, and we're gonna talk about how to create a bit more spin with your wedges. I think amateurs get too wrapped up in trying to spin the ball. I think it's more about trajectory and then the spin will come by itself. So if we work on different trajectories, you know, a lower trajectory would tend to have two bounces and an end spin, whereas a higher trajectory kind of one hops and, and rips back or, or spins back. It is very important to, to be able to take the spin off. I remember holding one out at the Golf National. I hold out on 17 from about 120 yards for a birdie, actually. So that's a, that's a good example of, of putting your wedges close. What I see a lot of times in pro is people ask me how to put a bit more spin on the ball, and um, I see them most of the time flipping their hands or the body stops and they want to get more spin this way. For me, the key to you know creating more spin, but it's not about a flash speed at the bottom, it's, it's more about having a consistent strike which creates a bit of spin. What I like to see is a nice V here with the arms. I'm trying to keep this, this V as long as possible. Going back, so you don't want any of this, a lot of hand, hand and, and wrist action. Just a nice smooth triangle, um, taking it back nice and smoothly. That's how you get a consistent ball. Oh, almost went in. Peters has a pretty good lie, slight down slope. To recap the tips, it's about consistent strike, which creates consistent ball flight and spin. You know, hitting wedges, I've looked up to Steve Stricker because he's, he's very, you know, on plane, he's got no hands whatsoever. So I'm trying to keep this triangle as long as possible, going back. Um, so if you're at home, you can uh, practice it by just, you know, keeping the wrist out of, out of the movement. Um, not too much of this, a nice smooth movement and, uh, you get some extra spin on that. To watch another European Tour video, click here. Or to subscribe, click here.